The distinguished attorney believes the Golden Jubilee milestone provides a strategic opportunity for Grenada to break away from the tradition of swearing allegiance to the British monarchy. The current oath obliges individuals to pledge allegiance to His Majesty King Charles III, his heirs and successors according to law. The monarchy changed on September 8, 2022 when King Charles III ascended the throne following the death of his mother, Queen Elizabeth II. All of this is about identifying the Grenadian identity, who we are as a people, as a nation, in the context of our experience, building ourselves as a nation, as a Grenadian people, one people, one future, one destiny, but swearing an oath of allegiance to somebody else. His Majesty is taking an oath to the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Not to Grenada, but we are taking an oath to him. I can't be right. Dr. Francis Alexis KC has released a circular outlining his proposal to amend Schedule 3 of the Grenada Constitution to reflect this change. All we have to do is to pass a simple act. You don't need more than about three clauses, saying in clause two, the Constitution of Grenada is hereby altered by in schedule three to the Constitution, deleting the words, His Majesty King Charles III, his heirs and successors, and in that place, substituting the word Grenada. That is all that is needed. He further emphasized that altering the oath does not require a referendum citing precedents in other nations. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, in Jamaica, they use an ordinary act to change the oath of allegiance. The oath of allegiance was changed easily in Barbados when it became a republic without a referendum. In fact, Dominica started out its independence with a different oath from what it had prior to independence. Guyana and Trinidad and Tobago changed the oath. Trinidad and Tobago without any referendum, not stipulated there. So the point is that nobody makes any fuss about the changing of the oath when the oath is not itself entrenched in the constitution by referendum protection. Dr. Alexis is calling on the government to follow in the footsteps of its regional counterparts. As we mark our 50th anniversary, this is the time to do it. Imagine how exciting it would be on the 7th of February, 2024, when Her Excellency the Governor General, Prime Minister Dick and Mitchell, leader of the opposition, Dr. Keith, stand in front of the people of Grenada and take that oath, owing allegiance to not King Charles III, his heirs and successors, but to Grenada. So let it be, I pray. For GBN News, I'm Nisha Paul.